Hi everyone, just wanted to say thanks for watching my review. If you could feel free to comment at the bottom and like this, share it with your friends if they're interested in doing any type of backpacking, camping, where you need a portable power source if you're off the grid. This is perfect for that, um, for that type of uh, scenario. I actually was gonna buy this off of Amazon. They had a gold box deal where it was on sale. Unfortunately, I missed it, but I still wound up buying it because it's just that good. I was watching a couple of the other reviews and I wanted to show you exactly what this is. This is the Guide 10 Adventure Kit. It includes the solar panel, which is called the Nomad 7. It also comes with the Power Pack Guide 10, which is this thing right here. It comes with four batteries all included. These are double A's. You can also recharge uh, triple A's as well. Um, this is the uh, unit that will allow you to charge with the car adapter, which is the 12 volt. The guide 10, which is where you can plug in the um, battery power pack right here. And then there's a USB port as well that you can charge directly from the solar panel to your cell phone. So let's open it up. It's still fully sealed. It's some pretty nice packaging. It's uh, matte paper, it's thick corrugated type cardboard, so it protects the, uh, the solar cells pretty well. So we're going to open her up, let's see what we have. So I really bought this because I do a lot. I like to do a lot of camping. I like to go out on the outdoors, and instead of running my car to charge my phone, because you always need a phone just in case. I have kids, and you know, family members might want to reach me. The, you know, it's a good idea to actually have a way to be reached. So here's the Goal Zero Nomad Seven pad. This is actually the uh, the solar cells that recharge uh, through the sun. It's not flexible feels like plastic, so it's not glass, I don't think, but um, looks like a folding type accordion book, almost like a large sized book. Here we have the, the, uh, the battery pack thing, let me see if I can get this out. So here's your goal zero, guide 10. That is the battery charging unit, as well as it's got a built-in LED flashlight. This will allow you to switch between flashlight. This is the flashlight function. I mean, it's one LED, but it supposedly will last uh, 20 hours. If you put it on the middle, this will tell you your charge. It'll tell you green for a full charge, and I think it goes to yellow to red. And this is um, just off. So you've got the solar cell input, the USB micro USB and also a regular USB input. So what we do, let me get the other piece out. And that's pretty cool, they even can include a mini carabiner. I mean, this is so that you can hook it to your pack or something, I guess. Like there's uh, included latch points on this thing. Everything has a latch point, I've noticed. This has a metal latch point. I, I didn't see that in another review. This is especially handy if you don't want to put this in your bag and, and crush it. I mean, I don't know how fragile it is. I'm not really going to test it. But like I said, it, it feels, it's very, it's fairly inflexible. Like it, it won't bend. So I wouldn't want to really test that. Looks like this is a pouch to store the uh, Guide 10. This, I believe, just folds into the middle. This comes with a USB and a, a 12 volt adapter. The 12 volt adapter is this piece. This is like the cigarette lighter. Um, this looks like it's for the guide 10. So I would assume that this plugs into here like so. And then this plugs in to this right here. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that should do it. That's, that's what it really does. This is for the 12 volt. This plugs in over here. And everything's just basically plug and play. Um, this is so you can charge micro USB items, I guess. This will, can either plug into here. You can either plug this in directly into the Gold uh, Guide 10. And this will be a separate battery source, too. You can use this as a battery source to charge your, your iPhone. It's almost like one of those uh, battery packs that you can remove and just plug into your phone and you use it that way. Or you can charge it directly off of the solar panel. Um, I'm not sure what the ratings are. I know some of the other reviews tell you. Right here it says, if you're charging off the solar panel, um, if you're charging the battery pack, it'll take two to three hours, as well as USD devices, 
USB devices, sorry, and a 12 volts car outlet. Um, you can also collect power from this, and it'll go to this directly to the USB device. So, I mean, it looks pretty good. You can charge pretty much anything as long as you have a USB adapter or a car adapter, and uh, also the micro USB port. So, the next part of the review, I'm going to try and see if I can get this working and charge my cell phone and uh, see what we get out of it. Alright folks, glad you're still with us. I decided to set up outside on a very hot sweltering day uh, in New York City. It's like 90 something degrees. Um, I want to say it's overcast, it's sunny, but there's definitely cloud cover. Um, more like a hazy hot humid cloud, not really like uh, rain clouds. So I just want to show you, I have my phone right here. Um, it's charged at 64% and I have my USB cable. We're going to open up the Nomad solar panel. What we're going to do is, I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to show you. There you go. You get the little sound. You see it's charging. So, I mean, in decent amount of sunlight, you'll, you'll get a charge. It'll definitely show that it's charging. Don't you see that right there? It's not plugged into anything else other than what I got right here. So, there you have it, folks. There's my review of the uh, Nomad 7. See, so you close it. And you open it. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this review.